Okay, um, doing basic operation of the Minison ultrasound system. Let's pretend we're doing a carotid study. Um, upper right corner, you can see the different um, applications you have in the machine. Uh, vascular section, MSK, anesthesia, um, small parts. In this case, I'm going to do a carotid study. It will be under vascular here. And it says carotid in the upper left side of the monitor. Um, I'll scan in here myself. Uh, if I need to change the gain, so here in the left side, gain is selected, down will be more gain, up, less gain, okay? Um, nice picture there, you can see the intima, uh, clean carotid. If I need to change the TGCs, in order to clean this a little bit, I click here this little icon in the lower left corner, and I see my, my TGCs, and I can, you know, change the, the the, the different gains and different depths. Okay, just slide your finger like this. See, and then now you have a better picture there, see? Click again the, the TEC icon, and then you go back to the regular menu. Uh, if you need to change the depth, click depth, and then down would be deeper. Now it's five centimeters up, you know, two centimeters in this case, see? three, four, say four centimeters. Okay, now let's do some color. Uh, here's a color flow key in the upper side of the monitor, CF. When you click there, then you see the color box. You can move it with your finger. Gain will be here. If you need to change the size of the color box, just click on the, on the borders. Then you see the dotted line, then you can change the size of it and the shape. Okay, gain. Um, if you ever want to go back to 2D, click 2D again. Um, put the, the depth a little bit um, shallower there. That looks better now, color flow. PW, you see the PW icon here, PW. Then you have the, the PW gate, you can just um, touch it and move it, okay? Uh, you can touch the lower side of the, this line here and just move it around. When you move it, then the image in the upper side goes live, so you can see where you are. And then I do some uh, heel toe with my transducer, and then there you are, there you are. And I, I see my my waveform. I have the machine now in auto calculations, which is right here. Auto calculations is in live mode. I can turn it off, so now I don't see auto calculations. I can put it in live mode, and I see auto calculations there. Okay? Let me take it off for a moment, so I can show you how to do the measurements by yourself. freeze bottom here, right side of the monitor. In this machine, after you freeze the picture, you can still change the, the gain of the PW, see? Uh, let's say you need to move the baseline, you can click here in the left side, it says baseline, and then you can move the baseline up, down, see? Boom. Um, let's say you need it to invert, um, it's not in this menu, it will be in the second menu, it says one out of two here, click there, then, here it says invert, and then, you know, you can invert the, the picture, okay? Um, let's go back to the previous menu. Again, so I can control my gain or my baseline here. I can also do some angle correction, even with the frozen picture. So my angle now is 60 degrees. You can, you can read here, uh, but you can change the angle. And then the scale is uh, changing accordingly, okay? But I would say with the 60 degrees, okay? There you are. Uh, now let's measure. In the left side of the monitor, you see the, the this icon here is for the measurements. When you click there, you will have a general general uh, measurements like velocity, time, uh, resistive index, or label measurements. 
in this case label measurements i want to use that it will be right side proximal uh cca and i tell the machine okay pixel systolic and I, I use my finger to drag the caliper to the pixel systolic uh, velocity and then um, the machine goes automatically to end diastolic and I just drag the caliper to the end diastolic uh, velocity and you will see those results in the upper side of the monitor right cca pixel systolic and diastolic okay i take a picture of it with the safe bottom here the right side of the monitor and those measurements were st stored in the system memory for the report. Um, to go back to live image, I click here, 2D, and I scan, I'm scanning again. Now, let me do it one more time. So I will do the, the complete uh, sequence. Um, let's pretend now we're doing the distal uh, CCA, okay? Uh, color flow. Uh, gain. PW. If I need to update the image, I just click here. Freeze. And then to measure this key, let's say I'm doing now distal, so right distal and uh, CCA, okay, big systolic, I put the caliper there and diastolic, gone, and save the picture, okay? So those uh, measurements were stored in the report. If I go to this little um, arrow here, then I can go to the report, then tell the machine vascular, then you see the, the measurements, so we have Right CCA, uh, distal, um, big systolic and diastolic, and then um, you can see all, um, if you want to see the, the, if you want to put some comments in that report, you can here go to comments and then type your comments over here. Okay, and then you can see a preview of the report, it looks like this, um, with the patient information, the, the measurements you did, and the, and the, and the comments you, you put on the, on the memory. Okay, you click here, exit. And then we are ready to finish the study. Just click this little arrow here and then click NXM. Archiving and save. Okay.